Hey guys, this is the Necky Model 554, and we've had our store closed for a few months now, remodeling the space, and I'm starting to clear out. This is an excellent machine, excellent quality machine, mid-century cast iron machine, and I'm going to let it go without fully demonstrating it and knowing all its functions, because I don't have a manual, and I can figure out almost any machine, but this has a couple little differences, and uh, I know you can get a a manual online through the Yahoo Neki group or there's a couple of Facebook Neki groups so go that route if you don't mind it's just not something I have time for right now so this model is a 554 to me it looks in function a lot like a supernova or an ultra is what they called it uh, back in the day it was actually made in Italy I think it's Pavia Italy it's not a Taiwan um, sewing machine that they did later. It's not light. It's extremely heavy cast iron, tabletop ready or cabinet ready, and I'll put the measurements here for you. Um, this is the pedal that's attached to it, and it is a knee pedal. This rotates out. You put it in your cabinet. You can, of course, just rewire it. See, it's just really there where the white wires are, and put a foot pedal on it. No worries with that. But it's a spectacular kind of machine, and I'm really sorry that I know some of the functions, but I don't know all of them. Um, everything seems to push. Here, let's go real hard there. Reverse goes in. Knobs turn. I just don't know how to engage them all together. Sorry about that. This looks like the length. This is the width, and then we have some special stitches on the inside. And again, everything turns. I just don't know the magic combination to make everything do what it needs to do. Uh, the bobbin winder is nice and flat. Here, bumps up against this. There's the cams, and you can get, I believe, see this is a Neki Supernova cam, and it fits in here beautifully and runs. It's gonna be loud, so hang on, but I'm gonna show you it spins. So I'm assuming if you buy some more necky looking cams like this, that they'll all fit for you as well because see the, the fingers go around and they're following the cam perfectly. Okay, so just real quickly, necky lovers probably already know this, but if you're new to necky and you always wanted a machine, this could be the one. So here we have the cam release button back here, it's what you would pull. And that would release the fingers here. You could pull the cam out if you wanted. Cam door. This is metal, cast iron metal. When you thread it, it goes from the back here, and it's a twin needle if you want to. Goes from the back, through here, through the front, down and around, just like every other standard one. Down under here. Now, one of the really cool things is it has two little, where are they? There we go. Two little piggy tails right here. Or two different threads if you want. Okay, there's a cutter for your thread, an extra cutter for your thread there. I guess if you have two threads. I gave you a zipper foot. I think it's going to work. It looks like it's the right kind of length and shank and everything. And I want you to see the feed dogs go up and down. Okay, now you see this needle plate? This is fantastic. This is state-of-the-art here. This slides out. Look how nice this is. It even has your measurements here to help you out. Okay, so here's the plastic rim and the bobbin case I gave you. This shuttle in there is actually original necky, so lots of, actually all original parts that I'm aware of, except I did give you a new bobbin. Bobbin case and, and bobbin. Okay, so this has um, a hole for straight stitch, zigzag, and then, you know, your fancy stitches. And the release is under here. See where my thumb is? It pushes and this pops up. So you, then you would spin it. A little hard to do one handed. Definitely can't do it one handed. I have to push in and lift at the same time, and I can't do that. Sorry. But then it spins. Tell you what, let me put it down so I can show you. Here we go. It helps if I raise the needle, I guess, huh? There we go. That is the coolest invention ever. Do you see that? Spun it around. Okay, now it's caught back in there, so you just push it down. Push this down, push that down. Again, it's a little hard to do with one hand. Here's your tension knob. 
works perfectly. Light works perfectly. On off, no worries. This right here is your uh, lowering of the feed dogs. It goes up and down just like on a supernova. This right here, if you want to make it a treagle, I believe this is what this is for. Okay, you could take the cover off here. You could put your, what do you guys call it, treadle, what, rope? I don't know, through there if you wanted to convert it into a treadle machine. Okay, so it's actually just a gorgeous machine. And like I said, um, instead of getting $300 for it or three and a quarter, I'm going to list it very reasonably because I'm um, just clearing out the warehouse. Uh, we're going to have a little family vacation here at the house for about a couple of months. Then we're going to reopen the store, but I want the store all to be empty by then. So I hope it's for you. I hope you love it. And uh, I'm sure you can figure out how to make this interact with this better than I can when you get that manual online. Thanks a bunch, guys. Make sure you make a bid because I always sell.